hopefully we've got the sound issue sorted. We're doing a sound check on Twitch and also on Discord. I uh, hear you. Good. All right. So um, I will fix that for next time that we have to do this layout. So again, I am your host and Dungeon Master Cranio Dad. Uh, thank you for joining us for Harlequin's Requital. Tonight we are picking back up where we left off, where our adventurers are halfway through the Dragon Hatchery, which is Chapter 3 of Horde of the Dragon Queen, which is Dungeons & Dragons 5e. Um, and I see a yay in chat. That's awesome. So, uh, we have a new layout. Uh, we'll see what that does and how it all works. And it looks like there's a problem with one of the video things. Let me fix that a little bit. Uh, on the fly editing, folks. On the fly editing. There we go. Better. All right. So, when we last saw our adventurers, they had decided to go through a trapped curtain, and they were taking uh, some time because they heard some sounds um, up above. Uh, they weren't sure. Some of them may have known what it could have been based on what they had seen earlier, uh, but they weren't a hundred percent positive. Uh, so they are down in a area that um, has a heavy curtain in front of them. It smells of rotted meat, um, and there is blood and all that fun stuff all over the place. So, with that, uh, the party has taken a short rest. Um, while they were waiting for the sounds to decrease, and we will pick up there. Um, I will say that as you guys begin, um, your eyes have now adjusted, even though you're night elves, it's kind of, uh, some of you are elves, night elves, ooh, wow, coming back. Um, even though you guys, some, most of your elves don't have much problem seeing in the dark, uh, you realize that in your state of rest, and while you were just either meditating or focusing and renewing yourselves, uh, that you look around and Akira seems to have vanished um, in a, in a, there's nothing there. But you don't see any evidence of him around. And is that, like, weird? Or is that, do we I would consider it? it weird, but, you know, it is what it is. I will say also, during your short rest, uh, Susanna, as you were sitting there and just focusing, and again, just renewing yourself, just, you know, praying or whatever, um, a voice kept creeping into your head. It said, you can't Since, since that's weird, I would stop and do a <laughs> ritual detect magic. Okay. Um, takes about 10 minutes, right? Yep. All right. So about another 10 minutes goes by as you guys see uh Lum sitting there going, making symbols and just focusing. Oh. There's no magic anywhere. Uh, besides, no like, little things on you guys, things that you probably would have noticed or seen, but right. no, you don't see any evidence of magic for Akira being missing. How about her dragon mark? Um, it glows. It's, uh, purple. Okay. Purple magic. Those symbols didn't tell you anything about those babies? No, the, I don't know if, if dragon eggs are magic in that sense. So, kind of question outside. Mm -hmm. Would I have seen a dragon egg before? Uh, I, yes. I, okay. So... <laughs> I'm going to do locate object. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm wondering why your screen isn't updating. Can you move your mouse? Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. Uh, so you're looking for... Well, locate object works on an object that you have seen, not a type of object that you have seen. Yeah. So you're looking for a dragon egg, and you sense the direction kind of back at the last place you last saw the last dragon ape that you saw. Oh. Okay. Because your DM's a jerk. Oh, okay. Well, that's sad. All right. Eloise is going to go up. Megan, what's your character's name again? Something Toral. With Toral. Like, Torl as in Torl or Torel? T O R E L. Torl. Torl. Okay. Um, Not to confuse with Toril, the name of the world we're on. <laughs> That's fair. Sorry. Wonderful. <laughs> Great. 
going to do some on stream AV work. You guys keep talking. Well, do you know do you know where some dragon eggs are? Cause our dragon buddy here thinks that her eggs are nearby. Well, I I I, I thought they were, but I, I'm not really getting a very good reading on them. I mean, you you seem to sense that they're close. Your your books don't tell you anything about this. Has has everything you I mean, learned about dragons been theoretical so far? Well. The, there's no books yet that have really been documenting where the cult has been stealing and hoarding eggs. So it's kind of like a, a newer thing. It, they actually... So we're writing the book now, is what you're telling us. Yes. Well, it's it's very interesting, and, and that's part of why I, I got my interest in the cult, is because, you know, originally they were very interested in... Um, making drago liches and turning drago what drago liches right drago liches mm -hmm. yes um mm -hmm. creating drago liches these um evil dragons and making them to where they can live forever and kind of like this thing and um so that's kind of what i i thought was very interesting but the last uh few years or so they've completely changed what they're about um they're now trying to create all these, they're gathering eggs and everything and trying to create a whole world ruled by live dragons instead of undead dragons. I need a drink. And we're still in this like rotting meat storage room. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> And the sounds have passed. It's been a while. It's now been about um, 20 minutes since you guys last heard the sound. Um, yeah. Okay. And my fog cloud, I assume, is still up for the moment. Yeah. Uh, unless, wait, wait, wait. Uh, my detect magic took my concentration, so no. So no cloud of confusion. Correct. Well, that's good. Good. So what would you guys like to do? Adventures. Not be in a cloud of confusion or surrounded by a bunch of dead meat. Simple things. So what are you going to do about that? I guess we just go back the other way. Try the other direction? Yep. Okay. Let me switch over to the map. All right, so um, who who's trying to go through the curtain first? I'm going to assume you guys are going to all try to do it carefully. I'll use Mage Hand again to pull it aside. Okay. All right, so the Mage Hand comes out, moves the curtain aside. You guys can see the stairs above you. Um, the fog cloud is no longer there. Um, yeah, feel free to move yourselves. Can I just grab the group? Are we moving together? Yeah. Yes, please. Does that work? Kind of. It's just slow. Uh, okay. We're just definitely a little 20 thing, not a computer thing. Yeah, we're just moving. Uh, All right, so um, as you guys come up the stairs, now that the fog cloud has passed, uh, you can see uh, to your to your right, you see a couple of drop-offs, and there's the smell of rotting garbage. Um, it's very dark, uh, and there's enough of an incline you guys really cannot see down. Um, and ahead of you, there's an opening uh, that I think maybe some of you saw uh, to the north, uh, the direction you guys were moving, um, that uh, you did not, well, one of you almost went through that way, but the rest of you did not. I think that's the way we're heading, because it's easier to traverse than the drop downs. Yep. Yep. All right. So stop. Um, I'm gonna. Is that your marching order? 
Sure. Sure. Okay, so I will then say Susanna. Uh-huh. Um, actually, I'll say that all of you went through there at the same time, because why not? Um, I need... Blah, 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 blah. That's that one. Where are we at here? Where's my map? There's my map. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, I need all of you to do dexterity saves. Nineteen. Nine. Okay. Uh, so, uh, move yourselves. I'll move you back a little bit. Once I show you guys where, yet again, the traps are. <laughs> um, so, we'll say, Stephen. Uh, do one for Raymond, too. All right. Oh. I think that's a six. All right. I'll put one in each. Um, Does Raymond have nine lives? Raymond is technically an immortal celestial creature. So he has infinite lives. So I can keep summoning him back. <laughs> I will say that even with your... How many roll a six? He's actually actually a little bit too light. But uh, Megan, as, as you walk through this opening... Your foot kind of gives way a little bit, mm -hmm. and you realize that that's not stone. You don't trigger it, okay? But you realize that it's not stone. Okay. This cavern's made of peanut butter. So I would, I would probably like put my hands out and be mm -hmm. like, "There's, there's something not right here. Mm -hmm. The, the ground. I think." Are you saying that, or are you like just rock. making motions? I'll very, very quietly say it. Okay. And I will say that as you're saying this, as you're looking around, you also notice that there is a figure that is tied to a stake with his hands behind his back. That's the thing that you can see there. Okay. Um, and um, <laughs> since nobody was doing stealth, <laughs> I will uh, just hold off on that for a minute. Okay. So you see a figure. Okay. Can we see that he's tied? Uh, you guys, Stephen can see him, Susanna, you cannot, uh, Megan can see him. Even, you, with, even with dark vision, I can't? The, he's around the corner from me. Oh, okay. Um, can I maybe inspect the ground to see, like, how big this trap is? Yeah. Like, if something I can jump check. over, or? Yeah, give me a perception check. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, you see the two squares as, as identified with the red squares. Uh, ah, okay. That uh, they are pieces of really thick, almost like it would be cardboard, but they don't have cardboard. So like really thick parchment leather like, uh, that has been yeah. painted to look like stone. Okay. Okay. Um, I will jump over and okay. kind of maybe with my hands motion. Okay. This space is bad. <laughs> so that they'll they'll follow suit. And I guess I will very cautiously uh, No, I'll wait for them to come before okay. approaching him. <laughs> I'll wait for everyone to All come right. and So you guys are aware of these traps now. But you can move across. I guess I would move across. All right. Same here. All right. So what do you guys do about this thing tied up? Uh, I at first would just ignore it. It doesn't seem to be like what we're trying to do. <laughs> so I would just keep going. I will say that he is not gagged. Uh, Josh, give me a perception check. Roger. Uh, it is a 17. You watched all of this happen. 
<clears throat> uh, hey there. Hey, do you know where there's some dragon eggs? <laughs> I've, I've heard there's dragon eggs. Oh yeah, we did too. Well, I'm, I'm stuck. I can't, can't go anywhere. No, I, I, can, I can see that. Would one of you kindly remove these wraps from my hands? Uh, first, who are you? Good, so the last time I t- untied someone from a stake, he kept kicking me in, in a blaze of fire, and we lost Everyone a friend. Everyone a perception check. Besides you, Joe. 21. 14. 19. Okay. As you're having this conversation, you can hear some scuttling to your northeast, and you hear the sounds of heavy movement, like something, I would almost say alligator-esque, moving uh, down the stairs to your right. Um, at this point, Megan, you would have noticed, uh, did you have 21, right? You notice that there's bars that go down and along the stairs mm-hmm. uh, that and there's you can kind of see the gate down at the bottom. Okay. Does it sound like the thing we were hiding from? No. So it's coming up the stairs? No, just or... around down there. Oh, oh, okay. So can I walk over to the edge and see if I can see anything? Sure. Uh, you have dark vision? Yeah, uh, I've got superior dark vision to 120 feet. Okay. He's a gnome. A deep gnome. Deep gnome. gnome. A Sverf Neblin. Well, this is where it's going to get interesting. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Um, is that all of them? Uh-oh. Are those drakes? So you see three young drakes. Baby drakes? Uh, three young blue dragon guard drakes. And as you move up and look over, carrying over from the perception above, or that you had when you first walked into the room, you now see in the shadows. Uh, da, 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 da. That you guys need to roll initiative. Oh. And Josh, I'll have you roll initiative, even though you're tied up. Twenty-five, twenty. Twenty-one. Good to know. You said eighteen? Mm-hmm. Fifteen, anybody else? Fifteen to twenty? Sixteen. Sixteen? Yep. Susanna. Nine. Perfect. All right. So, uh, Stephen, you look up and you see just in time as uh, four kobolds, one winged kobold, now are alerted to your presence and are starting to come towards you. Is the winged one the one that's kind of closest to me on the top? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, Josh, you are currently bound. So mm-hmm. you don't get to do anything unless you'd like to try to cast a spell. Oh, that's a good, that's a good thought. Um, I would... I would just go ahead and cast the light cantrip in the middle of the room. Okay. So, a uh, sudden burst of blue iridescent light emanates from the center of the room. So you guys can now see. Um, Megan, you are alerted to their presence. Okay. I think I'm going to need to turn into something big and scary. Uh, let's, let's be a dire wolf. Okay. That sounds kind of fun. Is that your second use of wild shape since you've had a long rest? Um... No, it's since a short rest. Oh, cool. I always so, forget that. I, I'm What's really the one that's a long rest? It's not wall shape then. Which one is that? I'm not sure. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um, so... I have a fight that I do. Well, you need to get there first. Yeah. G squares five feet. Okay. I can go... 50. Feet. Fantastic. Five, ten, um, 20, 25. You can make it to... Yeah, I guess... Oh, I'll look at that. So, hold on. Before we continue. Um, thank you, Bronze Bond Mail, for finally following us. We appreciate it. Now that we have 20 followers, um, in a short bit, I will be kicking off a giveaway. So tonight's giveaway, one moment. Is going to be for a D&D starter set for 5e. Let's put it right side up. Um, so whoever wins this, we will be able to get in contact with you. You can get in contact with us. Um, I'll kick it off in a little bit. Let me get through some rounds of combat first. Um, I have one of these to give away for every 20 all the way up to 100. At 100, I'll be giving away the special or limited edition um, art set, uh, cover set for the uh, uh, the Dungeon Master's Manual, the Player's Handbook, and the Monster Manual. Um, and there are other things that will be added um, at 40, 60, and 80. So there'll be multiple giveaways at every 20. But we'll get to that. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, so which one would you like to run to, Megan? Um, I'll just do that first guy, the flying one that's there. Okay. Um. And. That is a 21 to hit. That's a hit. And I will bite him. With my dire wolf self and and that's uh, ten damage. Ten damage. Yes. Who no memento for the worst in the world? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, do I only have one? Do I get two bites? The bear, I have a bite and a thing. Maybe it's a little more fun. Please work. Trying something new, folks. Those of you that are watching in chat. So it's not wanting to do what I needed to do. That's adorable. All right. Well, so in order to join the giveaway, um, which I'm picking off right now, all you have to do is type exclamation point join. Um, you can enter one time. Don't enter more than once. You will be disqualified. Um, you need to be a follower in order to enter. Um, there's a timer that is set, and it will run for about 10 minutes, and at the end it will let me know, and it will pick a winner for me. And we will let that winner know in chat as well as everywhere else. So best of luck for everyone. So you did how much damage? 10. 10. Noted. And I'm thinking a bear is a little bit more fun because I get to And by this. noted, I mean as you bite it, you feel its neck snap. Yeah. Underneath your fingers. There's a really great picture of my like bloody mouth direwolf here. Nice. That's exactly what you look like now. This is what I look like right life. now. Yeah. I don't know if you can ah. see. So um. that so that's not ketchup. No. <laughs> that's that juicy, juicy cobalt blood. Cold cobalt flavored ketchup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And players, you are also eligible for this giveaway. We. The only people who are not are myself and my wife. <laughs> so, feel free. And just because you win this one doesn't mean you can't win anything else down the line. Yay. Um, um, all right. So, you kill it. It is dead, dead, dead. Oh, yeah. Your face is bloody. Um, I will take... Um, if I can maybe... I don't, how, did I use all my movement? No. Okay. I think I want to kind of step back and kind of just you know like that's that dog yeah like yeah. Uh, guard how much do you want you um, moved uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 you only moved 30 you still have I'll be people. kind of like back by Steven I think like maybe a little bit in front of him and just kind of like, like kind of like protecting the rest yeah okay and I'll just kind of protect his stance growling <laughs> All right. Uh, bonus action growl. Bonus action growl. 
<laughs> like, actually, with a dire wolf, that'd probably be, like, a really good intimidation type thing. <laughs> While looking the cobalt ketchup yes. from your lips. Yes. All right, so with that, um, even though it was an 18 and a 16 right in the middle, all the cobalt gets gold. So, oh. yeah, it's adorable. I wanted to do something cool. <laughs> Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You will get an attack of opportunity on that one that just went towards Steven. Megan? Me? Ooh. Um, 10. Bite, bite. 15. I never get, I don't think I've ever done an opportunity mm-hmm. attack. No one ever passes me. <laughs> I'm always the, the like, the range. ranger that's in yeah. the back. You get an attack of opportunity on at least one of them. Uh, and now two of them. Fine. Two. 15, 20, 25. Well, you can only take one reaction. Yeah, you can only take one reaction. So, okay. do you want to take it on the first one or the second one? The first one went to Steve and the second one went past Steve. Um, I'll, I'll go to the one that went to Steve and I guess then. Okay. It's fine. Go ahead and roll your attack. Okay. Uh, yes, 23. That's a hit. Mm-hmm. And a 10 again. 10 damage on that one. Uh, so this one runs by, and you grab him right by the thigh, and you rip, and yeah. the whole leg comes off. Nice. And he is done. I'm going to, like, toss the leg off. Can oh, I, can I oh. toss the leg into the pit with the tricks? You toss him into the pit. <laughs> oh, okay, yay. <laughs> Which means that you hear some hungry growls. Snacks for you. <laughs> so then this one's going to go to you, Stephen, because it would have come up. Okay. Some tender vittles. Some tender vittles. Um, <laughs> now, Megan, you got two attacks coming at you. I'm ready. Uh, with daggers. Uh, the first one is a uh, 17. That hits. The second one is a 14. I'm 14, so... It hits. Yeah. So you take eight points of damage. Uh, Steven, you have one coming at you with a dagger. Just eight? Okay. Yep, just eight total. Cool. Uh, with a 22. That probably hits. You take four points of damage, sir. You said four? Yep. And now we are to Steven. Just a minute, I'm taking damage. <laughs> and everything moved, so I don't know my plans work. Um, so Raymond goes on my turn now, right? Yeah, and I would assume that he would be next to you. Uh, Raymond mm-hmm. will move up and help, uh, help Megan. Okay. And I want to do something to attack the person right next to me. I'll just use a dagger. I'm not supposed to be this close. That's a natural 20. Hooray! Yay! So, I will. That's six damage. Six damage. It, you, you thrust your dagger out pissed that you didn't get to do what you wanted to do before. Mm-hmm. And you catch it right at the top of the clavicle and you feel the windpipe sever. And then you rip out and you feel the jugular give way too. And it collapses to the ground. Blood starts pooling. How, how tall are kobolds? Uh, yeah. They're taller than you, so you reach up yeah. to do this. Okay. <laughs> uh, anything else? Uh, I think that's all I can do for now. Susanna. All right. Um, I'm going to go to where Josh's character is. And is it an action to say real quick to him, I don't know who you are, but we could use your help and undo his bonds? Yes, that would be, yes. All right. So you go up to Josh. Josh, you are now no longer restrained. Woo! Um, which is great. Because we're back at the top of the order. Oh, perfect. Can I quickly ask his name or no? Uh, you can ask his name, but he would have to reply on his turn. 
I mean, nice to do, Josh. <laughs> um, so it's my turn. Yep. All right. I'll just quickly utter, you can call me Vander. Um, and I will move uh, up to the spot right below and to the left of Megan. One second. This, I, I'm updating information as you give it. So you move to the spot right next to Megan? Uh, to, the, to the bottom left of her. All right. And you're proposing to her, correct? <laughs> wrong, <laughs> wrong night. Oh, not Wednesday. Hashtag not Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Meg is like, I'm done. <laughs> I was going to say something about bestiality or something because I'm a wolf right now, but. Actually, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, uh, while passing by one of the dead guys on the ground, check for a weapon? Uh, yeah, that'll take your bonus action. I'll let you check the kobold that is down by Steven. Um, roll me a d6. Five. Five. Uh, do you want a scimitar or a longsword? The longsword. You pick up a longsword. Yes, the kobold was carrying a longsword. Sweet. All right, and then I will finish my move and uh, attack the. Um, go back to the spot I was going to and attack the guy, right there. Okay. And. That is a... Now, unless you've done your thing, that's only a plus one, right? Yeah, as soon as I, t as soon as I grabbed it, I got, um, I committed to it. Okay. Um, so it's a 21 to hit. That's a hit. Ten damage. Another one falls. You you stand up. You run up. You grab the weapon. You swing and you cleave its head right off. Sweet. And uh, that's the end of my turn. All right, Megan. Bite, bite. There's just the one guy left in front of me. Yes. Okay. And you have help. What's that mean? Uh, yes, you just get, have advantage on your first attack. Oh, okay. Uh, with advantage makes it 19. 19 damage? No, to hit, sorry. Yeah, it's still a hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. And to do... That would be a really intense bite. Um... 11. You bite him right in the midsection and you feel the spine at the tip of your teeth as you as your mouth comes together you, you almost cleave him in half yeah um I'll mouth toss him into the pit as well you hear even more movement <laughs> and with that the uh, giveaway uh has ended so we shall pick a winner <laughs> trippy gal you have won please Woo! speak up in chat so please speak up on chat <laughs> 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 there you go. Save me on Yay. shipping. Uh, there'll be chances again at every 20. Uh, I think there's going to be things like dice that are thrown in. Um, maybe some really cool books. We'll figure that out. Um, I'm thinking about maybe trying to get a thing of Art Nakana for everyone. But we'll see. Um, so, uh, tell all your friends <laughs> so we can get more. I know there's more people that want them. There's only three more on my bookshelf. It's okay. Um, so, with that, you guys are no longer an initiative. Um, what would you like to do? Uh, I'll look down into the pit. Uh, did the drakes move? They are moving towards the kobolds. To they like they are snacks. hungry. <laughs> mm. And do I know anything about drakes? Uh, you, these are the smaller versions of the ones, younger versions of the ones that you ran into in Greenest. You have two of his albums. 
You have two of his albums, um, and they both suck. Um, you know that they are medium dragons. Um, that uh, these ones are blue, uh, and they like that means they like to burrow. And they, they seem like they'd be hostile to us. Like, they, we oh, need yeah. to get through here, and they're, they're yeah. not good. Would I know anything in particular about these strikes from my mentor? You know about what he does. Okay. And I wouldn't assume that uh, the eggs we're looking for hatched, and these are the young babies. That um, give me a... Give me a nature check. Or Arcana. I'll let you do either. I know Arcana's probably higher for you. Uh, 22... Um, drakes sometimes are hatched, but they can also be created. Okay. So I don't, I don't have any reason not to attack these things. Except for the fact that they're down a 10 to 15 foot cliff. I mean, that seems like it makes it easier. It, it does. <laughs> uh, I would wait and see if they all group up a little bit more together. So I wouldn't take any action yet, but I'm watching. That's about as much as they will group up while you were watching. And as you are waiting, you guys hear a lot of commotion up the stairs behind you. Those stairs behind? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I would I would probably turn back towards the stairs. And do a menacing growl? Yeah. Give me an intimidation <laughs> check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at intimidating. <laughs> I feel like as or, a or dire wait, wolf, I should have some. Wait sort a of second. Can I do an intimidation check too? I want to uh, be blasting my whip in the air. Do one with advantage. That didn't help. Twelve. Did you roll it twice for advantage? Yeah, I did twelve, and then I did eleven. Oh. So <laughs> it helps enough when the DM rolls a one. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, 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 um, you hear. A lot of rustling. Okay. And people grabbing weapons and starting. To oh, come out okay. <laughs> um. Steven, that's about as grouped as they're gonna get while they're eating. They're yeah. devouring the one and a half kobolds that are there. I'm, I'm definitely. Can way I more see anything further off to the, like the upper left? Uh, there's nothing else there. It's just one solid room. Those are the only ones that are down there. Oh, this, this room just ends. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought I was thinking that was a quarter that kept going. I think it's just a drake. I think it's just a pit. Uh, if I can see from here that that just ends, we don't have any reason to continue. To yeah. Play. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead. Oh, but there's a place up. down to the left. Yeah. Yeah, that's where the, the commotion is coming from. Got it. Up. The stairs go up. Oh, they go up? Mm-hmm. Okay. There's, in two dimensions, it's down to the left. <laughs> yes. <laughs> South. Um, west. Stephen, can, um, if we're not on initiative, can you move me right behind Megan? Uh, you are. I'm move these dead way. bodies out of the way. Like, yeah. Let <laughs> me feel like you guys are about Thank to get some shit. Yay! Okay, so if I'm now. And Josh, you would know that up these stairs are the barracks. Mm. You've been there. Uh, so. Here's the deal. Um, thank you for rescuing me. Um,. I'm looking for Cyanrath. He has something that belongs. And he is through this passage, I believe, which uh, happens to be the barracks. So so am I aware that there's a bunch of people... Yeah, as of now, you guys can all roll initiative again. Oh, okay. I was going to try and do I'm going to quickly ask uh, Van, are there dragon eggs up there? Uh, I think so. That was the... Natural 20. Right. Same here. Plus 20 two. to 25. 22. 21. <laughs> 15 to 20. Okay. 10 to 15. Ten. Josh, what was yours? Four. <laughs> it's like Bella lives on. Oh, he lives on through me. 
All right, so they know you're there. You can see them and hear them coming, so nobody has surprise. This is where it stands at this point. Megan, you're up first. Woohoo. Um, so I guess I will just run up the stairs. and M- Megan, before you run up the stairs, uh, c- can I pet you in your direwolf form and say, go get them? Okay. A bloody direwolf form. <laughs> yes. All right, so as you My go up the stairs, can you... Uh, <laughs> just the front. Uh, I'm scratching you behind the direwolf ear. Yeah. yeah. I get to go to the next page. Huh. Okay. Does that give me anything, or is it just no? I'm just, uh, <laughs> just a pet. I have to do a roll as you go up the stairs. Okay. Ella, Ella always would do it. Okay. She likes animals. So you go ahead and go up the stairs. Yes. And you come up to the very first one. Yes. What would you like to do? Um. Oh, bite, I bite the first thing I see. All right, go for it. <laughs> Careful, it's a mirror. <laughs> uh, that's a twenty. That hits. Yeah, oh, I keep putting it away. Eleven again. Okay. I'm just rolling the same thing every time. Looks a good roll. He falls right to the ground. Woo. Um. And yeah, I'll just, I'll stay there. What size is a dire wolf? Um, I think it's medium. I'm a large mm-hmm. beast. Large. Good to know. Yeah. Okay, Susanna. All right. Um, can I please have them? Mouse. Thank you kindly. Ah! I'm imagining I'm taking up most of the hallway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, since I'm probably not going to get not around cool you. <laughs> Five, ten. I'm gonna go right behind Megan, and I'm going to. C- You're gonna can stop I... there. Yes. And before you can do anything, the ground beneath you gives way as you fall into yet another trap. How come she didn't? I have to roll a dice for this one. Ah. I'm light on my feet. Uh, you my fall pads. into a ten foot deep pit. Oh no. Is, is she close enough to me where um, I can have a reaction? Your back's turned. Can, uh, can, I, can I do a reaction? Nope. <laughs> um, and you take... Oh, okay. You fall into a ten foot deep pit. Um, as you're falling, in a moment of clarity, you look down and you see that there are several sharp spikes pointing up from the ground. As your body impacts the spikes... What? You, you take... Four damage. Ow. Okay. That's not it. And you're now at the bottom of a pit. Mm. Great. How, how far was it? Ten feet? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. You can climb up. Um, I would like to climb up. <laughs> okay. Give me a strength check. Eighteen. 18. You're able to climb up to the top as your action, um, and you are standing on the oh, other yeah. side of it, just behind Megan. Great. Very crowded space. If she were to back up, she'll probably bump you in. All right, so now. Um, dire wolf. Nice dire wolf. <laughs> this one 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 10, 15, 20, 25. It's getting very crowded up here. Only there's oh a person who can get up there to do something. Lay side. All right, so Megan, uh, this wing I'm kobold. Take the damage, though. I'm gonna move the body off the screen for a little bit. Uh, this wing kobold. I and have this a one plan with my action. Both reach out to attack <laughs> you. Um, with their daggers. So. I'm immune to daggers. Uh, natural 20 oh. and a natural 1. Hey. So, um, I will let you roll 1d4 damage for the damage that it's going to do to 1, and I will roll the damage for the one that happens to you. 1. Perfect. So, it does 4 damage to one of them, 
like one of them reaches in and stabs you like he he gets you like right behind the scruff of the neck yeah. for nine points of damage Ugh. um and the other one goes to swing and you kind of reel back at the, at the right moment because you just took all that pain mm-hmm. and he misses your muzzle and he stabs the other one right in the chest Yay. for four damage stab yourself uh so we'll say that this one here with the green mark has been hit um, and the other one hit you, and you are close enough, uh, let's see, that one sees you, that one can see both of you. Alright, so you have one that's going to throw a rock at you, Megan, and one that's going to throw a rock at you, Susanna. A rock? Yep. I love it. Like a rock. Uh, the one against Susanna is a 16. Miss. The one against Megan is a 8. Miss. So two rocks come flying at your direction. They just crash against the wall. Um, now the kobolds get to go. Um, they're kind of too packed in, so they're not going to do anything. They're going to hold actions. All of them. Uh, Susanna. Wait, no. Susanna, you already went. Steven. I will move my 25 feet closer, which I think gets me to the bottom of the stairs. Yes. And is there anything I can see or do from there? Um, you see Susanna and a dire wolf. You can kind of see a wind kobold and a giant pit in front of you. Okay. Is, would the kobolds be with, like, cover because of the wolf? Yeah, because of the dire wolf and the hill to go up the stairs. Uh, if I move Raymond 40 feet, can Raymond help? Yes, but Raymond will need to do a dex check to get by the pit. Sure. That's a four. Raymond falls in the pit and takes... If I see him fall in the pit, can I use my action to snap him back to me? Before yes, you he, can. Before he lands? Okay. Does he snap back to you or does he just snap out? Um, I can't remember how that one works. I think I can snap him to me, but it might just snap him away and I have to make a second action to snap him in. All right, I'll snap okay. him away for now. Double check that. If he comes yep. back to you, great. If not... Either way, that's my action this turn. Okay. Uh, Josh, you are up, sir. Oh... I guess I would try to maneuver past the trap and get behind um, Oral. Alright, give me a dex check, please. It's one action to dismiss and one action to bring him back. Okay, I have moss screen up on that. That's fine. I got my good die back and I rolled a natural. Alright, not only do you get by, I will give you on the natural 20 that you find yourself here. You leap, over, you leap over, you put your hand down on the back of the dire wolf, bouncing off the dire wolf, flying past a kobold, and landing on the ground between two kobolds. <laughs> Fantastic. Well... Based off of where I am, then, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop my Necrotic Shroud. Okay. Walk through Necrotic Shroud. What's it do? Necrotic Shroud. Let me find it. Um, As an action, I transform, causing all within 10 feet to make a Charisma saving throw, which is a DC 13. Be frightened of me until the end of my next turn. This lasts for one minute or until I end it on a bonus action. Um, once on it on my turn, I can uh, deal an additional three hit points to anybody that's in uh, my cloud. It's ten feet from you? Ten feet from me, and it impacts everybody. All right. So that includes you, Megan. Oh. What am I? It's a wisdom save, right? Uh, it's charisma save charisma against save. the thirteen. Why? <laughs> Eleven. All right, you're you're now afraid of me, and you can't move toward me. Okay. Does that mean you're whimpering? Yeah. <laughs> all right, that black box. Um. All right, and I have to do the same charisma. Uh, that's yeah. hilarious. All right, uh, the kobolds have a 3, and the wind kobolds have a 12. All right, they needed to be 13. All right, and how much damage? Or it's just fear, right? 
Yeah, they're afraid of me, so they can't move towards me. Good to know. Um, and I gotta see exactly what the frightened mechanic does. I uh, believe attacks if made are at disadvantage. That's possibly. I think we can look it up. Uh, attacks at disadvantage. Um. So that's me too. If you're to attack him. Ah, okay. A uh, frightened Maybe. creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. So it doesn't even, it's not a, it's so even yes. attacked on me, it's so attacked. If you can see him, any attack. Yeah, yeah any attack. On. As long as I'm within eyesight. Okay. But it's canceled. There's a chance it could be canceled because you would have advantage yeah, in certain I, positions. Yeah, if people, if someone's within five feet, that's what I was just, yeah. there's the pack tactics. So I was like, well, that will just be canceled out then. Yeah. All right. Uh, is that the end of your turn, Josh? Uh, yes. Maybe. Um, right. Yep, that's it. Maybe you're right. Oh, okay. Um, well, I guess I will, um, is it possible to, like, leap up over them and get in that nice little spot right in the center that You'd nobody is technically be moving closer to Josh, so no. You ah, can't, that's you right. Can't I can't move closer to him. Okay, then I will just bite what's in front of me then. Okay. It's a standard attack. You um, have a doobly advantage. Susanna's yes. within five feet and Josh is on the other side. Yes. So, it works out. Oh, that was not nice. Um, that is a seven, then. Seven to hit. No. I know. You bite wide. <laughs> It was 18 and then went back to a 2. <laughs> All right, Susanna. All right. Um, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on the Cobalt that is with the green dot. Okay. And as a bonus action, I'm going to... Sorry. Uh, use Channel Divinity Vow of Enmity on that uh, green dotted cobalt. So it means that uh, I gain advantage on attack rolls on it for a minute. Okay. That's what I can do. Okay. Now, Josh, is your shroud up for a minute or is it just an instant? It's up for a minute. Okay. So if you pass into it, you have to, have, to a, you have to make a save. And do they do? Does everybody do a save at the end of their turn? It says you're frightened until the end of your next turn. Um, so I don't know. I I don't. So you're no longer say. frightened. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if at the end of their next turn if they have to do additional saving throws or not. I'm not from your mechanic. No, no. That's uh, once they've been frightened for a round, they're 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 done being frightened. Can't okay. Me. Um, all right, so the wing kobold is frightened of you, but it's still going to try to attack at disadvantage. That's an 18 and a 7, which makes it a 12. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yes. Does 12 hit you, Josh? No. Um, all right, this one's going to try to attack. These two are going to try to attack Megan. They have disadvantage on all attacks, right? Natural twenty and a uh, becomes a becomes a twenty, and then a fifteen. Two attacks against you, Megan. Yes, they both hit. They both hit. Yeah, twenty uh, you and take fifteen. Eight damage total. Yep. Um. One of the wind kobolds. Two of the wind kobolds can see you, Josh. They're going to try to throw rocks at you. Uh. That's a 16 and a 15. Miss and miss. All right, so two rocks come flying by you, crashing against. Um, all the others are either frozen in fear, can't really do anything, or they're going to hold actions if they're available. Susanna. All right, from where I am, the cobalt with the green dot, is that 10 feet away? Uh, yes. All right, I'm going to... Uh, 
Uh, whip it. All right. Whip it real good. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, 10 damage. So you have to hit your attack first. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20 hits. All right. Nine damage. Uh, Nine damage is fine. Nine damage. It falls to the ground. And so. as a bonus action, I'm going to move uh, the hunter's mark to the kobold to the left. All right. Your red dot will be the hunter's mark for now. I'll move the dead bodies out of the way. Okay. Now, I skipped Susanna earlier. I apologize for that. Um, we will now move on to Stephen. Uh, just looking ahead at the traffic jam, I think the best thing I can do is just use my action. I'll summon Raymond back. Okay. Uh next to Eloise and use the help action. Alright. And Josh. Um, the one that is between myself and uh, Toral, would I have advantage on that? Yes. Alright, then I will go ahead and hit him. Go for it. Um... That is a 25 to hit. That hits. 24, sorry. Nine damage. You slice its wings off and then run your blade through its middle of its spine. Um, nice. And then I will take... A uh, step just to my left, which will move the uh, the cloud, and I shouldn't provoke an opportunity attack because I'm still within Correct. five feet. The other one. Correct. So you got two more in the cloud. All right. Christmas saves against a fourteen. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Pass. And pass. 19 and a 17. All right, back to the top. Megan. Uh, all right. You're no longer feared, so you can move. Yay. And you can attack. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll move in. I'll go straight down to the ones down there and get out of everybody's way. And I will try to bite... Is it the right one is a winged one? The yes. I'll I'll bite him. Dang it. Just doing that. Um that is You have an uh, ally within five feet, so oh, you're that's right. Uh-huh. Ah. Natural twenty, so Okay. It's a lot better. Um, you so don't need me to roll because you can't do so little damage that it doesn't die. Yay! Uh, so another one you just kinda of reach up. <laughs> And bite, uh, you pull off one of his arms, yes. cast him to the side. You have movement left if you'd like to take it. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll move into like the space where the one I just killed was, I guess. Okay. Cool. Susanna. Wow, violent crowd. Uh,. We look for traps as I'm moving along the wall to this cobalt here. Okay, so you're going to take an action to look for traps? N- okay, never mind. I'm not going to look for traps. You're not looking for traps? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If, if, if a pick comes under, so be it. Um, fine, I'm going to go to that cobalt there, and I'm going to use... Uh, what am I calling rapier? Uh, that... I'm going to use a nade on it. Raymond was trying to help, but I'll let the DM decide if, if that happens at a range like that. Um, since he was trying to help, I'll assume that he moved with her. Okay. I'll give you that. I'm okay with that. Okay. All right. So you have advantage. Yay. Thank you all. Good, because I could use it. 
Uh, that's going to be a 16. 16 hits. All right. Um, oops. Uh, that is 12 damage. 12 damage. Ooh. It does. Yay, Hunter's Mark. Um, and as bonus action, I'm going to move Hunter's Mark to this kobold here. Which one? Uh, that one. Yes. This one down? Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot to do something. As you cross into that, I need you to, before I actually account for all this damage, mm -hmm. uh, I need you to roll a constitution save uh, to make sure that you are not frightened. Ah, yes. yes. Charisma. 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 Does Raymond need that too? Uh, Raymond was already in it. Oh, okay. Because yeah. Raymond doesn't need a save. He's fine. It would have been his turn. Not for 20, 25. All right, you're fine. I'll pull the dead body off the floor then. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, no, I've used my actions. Okay. You don't want to use your bonus action. Got it. Um, no, I, I I just did to move the hunter's mark. To which one? Uh, the me. one right to the south? Did I miss that? Yes, mm -hmm. right here. I was distracted by the fact that we needed to do a yeah. curse of fifty. Not bad. Yet. All right. Uh, now that they are not afraid... This one will have to make a save. That one fails. This one will have to make a save. That one fails. Surrounded. All right, so Susanna. Uh huh. Josh has two. Megan, you have one. Susanna. Friends. Uh, Facebook friends. 14. Miss. Josh, your first one. A 10. Miss. And a 23. That hits. Uh, Megan. 15. That hits. All right. If you took a hit, you take four points of damage. Okie dokie. My werewolf, the dire wolf, is getting very, uh, very sad. May be done with her uses very shortly. <laughs> All right, noted. Might be able to help you there. <laughs> well, oh, would I? So, like, essentially, like, if I change form, I just go back to the points that I had. So it's yeah. like she okay. just she eats them up essentially. Okay. But we're close to. <laughs> All right, there we are to Stephen. Okay. I'm going to try to move across the gap. Okay. Dexterity check, please. Check. Yeah. I'll uh, say it. It's not good anyway. Uh, five. Okay. You fall into the pits. <laughs> there you go. Dilly dilly. And you take... Oh, it's top. And that's a hard... The ten, ten foot pit and You take hard. three damage if you fall into the spikes. All right, I'll just be pretty much useless this fight, I guess. So you I have to take try a, to climb out as your action? What, yeah, I have to take an action to climb out. Straight. Okay. Something I'm great at. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're, you're fantastic at strength. Oh, 18. Hey, you're hey. able to climb out and you're standing. Okay. Then I'll just hang out there, I guess. <laughs> Raymond, will <continue. laughs> Raymond will continue to help Eloise. Okay, good. Um... Susanna. Oh, wait, nope. Sorry. Josh. Yes. You're up, sir. <laughs> I have so many cool things I can do, but I can't get to it. <laughs> by, by the time you get there. Yeah. What's the um, bodies, guys? I will reach over to Toral and just dump uh, ten hit points into her. Oh. Okay. You, like, pat the scruff of her neck. Uh, not not that nice. Just like just go over and grab the fur. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, classy. And then as a bonus action, um, can I just? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do nothing else. Okay, as a bonus action, you go. Okay. <laughs> um, then we are to make it. 
same old, same old bites. New, new cobalt, new bite. And that was a natural one. You have advantage. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. I'm not used to this. Much better. Yay. That was, uh, that's a 23. <laughs> 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 I keep forgetting. That's the nice thing. Okay. And that is eight damage. Eight damage. More than enough. You, you bite this one and we're going to go for a different body part. You know what? No. Screw this. It's Friday night. You bite this one right in the balls. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and he just like snap him. He's now he's got legs that are about six inches longer, and he just falls to the ground in pain and slowly just succumbs to his own death. Anything else? Um, I'll move up forward to to keep we the through, next. Huh? Yep. Okay. The next victim, Susanna. All right. Uh. I'm gonna go good old Nene on the cobalt with the hunter's mark on. Okay. Raymond still helping? Yep. Thank you, Raymond. I needed that. Um, fourteen. Fourteen. Hits. Thank you. Yeah, Raymond's a better support character than I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're scrambling up, falling down pits, trying to call your cat back. It's awesome. <laughs> Guys, wait for me. It's like your <laughs> cat falls really into the cool. pit. <laughs> then you fall into the pit. <laughs> yeah. You fell in the pit? Alright, um, that would be a 15. Okay. It, yeah, you nay nay him to death. Alright, bonus action. Moving that hunter's mark to the copal to the north. So, this guy right here. Alright. Uh, now it's their turn. Um, the, one, the two in the back are feared of Josh. They cannot move forward. This one will move into the square. Oh. And he fails. So the back three are all feared. Um, but the front two are not. Uh, so we're going to go one against Susanna and one against Josh again. Susanna. That is a 17. That's a hit. Josh, that is a 15. Meh. All right, Susanna, take four points of damage. And now it is Steven's turn. Oh. If I move... You want to join the party here? If I move one square south... Do I have line of sight on the kobolds in the back? You do, but you got to make your charisma save first. Okay. I th- uh, is this a magical charisma save? Yes. I have advantage on that, yes, which is do. good because I rolled a two. <laughs> I rolled in a one on the second one. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, you are frozen so in fear. I've got a position. dirty one. You're frozen <laughs> in fear, but you can see the wing kobold... Um, next to Eloise, uh, you just have a, a, an attack at disadvantage. I'm, I'll just hang out here. <laughs> you, you just have disadvantage on an attack. I know, but I don't want to burn a spell slot oh. on disadvantage. Yeah. All right. You're Ray, almost Ray, there, Steven. Raymond, you're out. Josh, you're up. Close. I mean, I wanted the ice knife in the middle of them and have it all <laughs> blow up all over everyone, but... Um, I, I will take a step forward. Dreams. Yeah. <laughs> and attack the one um, to my south. Okay. Below me there. Go for it. That's my prey. <laughs> There's uh, enough prey for everyone. Thir- Thirteen? Yep. That hits. Oof. Eleven damage. Eleven damage. Nice. You slice this one in twain. Um. And just as a bonus action, I say. Uh, feel the power of Bahamut. Nice. All right, Megan, you're up. 
Well, how it kind of makes you go, wait, what? <laughs> like, hey, who? Uh, um, that's the gold. That's the good dragon. Ah, dragon. yes. Yeah. Interesting. Platinum. Platinum dragon. <laughs> I knew it wasn't gold. Um, I will move forward and just get the guy right to the right of me. Um, and I still have advantage. Mm-hmm. Do, do, do. And that is a 23. That's a hit. And... Uh, that's 15. God bless. It's funny because I was like, oh, I forgot this part that, like, they get knocked down, like, they have to do, like, a strength thing, but I'm like, no, I've just been killing them in one bite, so I haven't even got to you, knock anyone down. You bite this one right in the throat. <laughs> Thank you, Raymond, for advantage. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen is a hit. I nod to Raymond in gratitude. Um, because I'm gonna use a uh, nay nay. And that will be ten damage. That's enough. <laughs> If you're sensing a theme, the hunter's marks moving to the kobold uh, right next to Josh. All right. Uh, all right. One moment, please. You need a new batch of kobolds to bring out? No, not necessarily. <laughs> awesome. So, um, at this point... A wing cobalt comes up from behind you. Oh. And it's going to fly over the trap. Something for Steven. And it's going to attack Steven. <laughs> uh, it's been around, so these two are now free. Uh, so, Megan, Josh, and Steven, you each have attacks coming at you. Mm-hmm. We'll do Steven first. With a 17. That will hit. All right. Josh, a 17. Miss. And Megan, a 18. Hit. All right. Uh, Megan, you take four. Stephen, you take six. Neat. <laughs> Neat. And now we are to... The I've knights got... who say neat. Now we are to Stephen. <laughs> Flying above the pit? Yes. Um, is it? It just hit me, so it's it's within melee range. Maybe. Yes. Then I'm gonna take my dagger. Do it. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Three damage. Mm-hmm. Noted. The damage was to wing, so he falls into the pit. <laughs> no. Um, I will say that you've seen some of these get damaged. This one, with three damage, it's kind of like, hmm, okay. Ah. Yeah. Um, he needs a bite. Raymond will keep helping Eloise. All right. I needed. 
Uh, Josh. Is that was muted? Um, I would like to grapple the one to my left. Okay. Strength contest. This should be interesting. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, probably not. Um, I rolled a 17, so that makes it a uh, 15. Yeah, I rolled a... Four. <laughs> oh. Like four total, or that was your roll? It was a three plus one. Three plus one. All right, I so, rolled the wrong, the wrong die. So you, go, <laughs> so you go to grapple, and he grabs your hand instead. Ooh. You are now yeah. somewhat grappled. You're dancing. Holding it's hands. a ha hand-holding contest. Yes, Yay. it's a hand-holding contest. You're ballroom dancing, but he's taking the lead. <laughs> um, okay, what else? Man, I don't really have any bonus actions that are any good. Um, that's it. I'll just let him hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're, you're accepting the embrace? Yep. All right. Megan, you're up. All right. Um, I'll bite the guy below me. Um, that is a 20 to hit. That hits. And noise. Um, that is another 15 damage. Jesus. That's like max bite. You kill. I'm running out of awesome things to say. Yay. <laughs> okay. Uh... I'll probably just stay there just because he's grappled. Okay. Susanna. Alright, I'm going to stay where I am and I'm going to I'm going to throw one of my daggers at the kobold that's going steady with Vander. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm making a motion for Vander to duck. Can't see you. You're behind them, but go ahead. Alright. Is Raymond still helping? Uh, can Raymond help at range? No. No, like, I, I'm still where I am right now. You're throwing at range. Oh, uh, okay. Um, 13. 13? Your dagger goes wide on this one. Yeah, he's got partial cover because of me. Yep. And uh, you hear a distant clattering. Great. <laughs> All right. Um, as a bonus action, then. Oh, I would have had to declare declare two hand a wep weapon if I want to use bonus action to throw another dagger. You can't. Not okay. as a bonus action. Okay. Then I will hold. Okay. Uh, so you're three and a half feet tall. Uh, yeah, about. Okay. Uh, uh, the wing cobalt. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna move this trap. I put it on the wrong layer. It is going to fly over top of you <laughs> and attempt to come this way. Would yeah. you like to do anything? Uh, I can swing my dagger at it if I can reach it. Yeah. Okay. Eleven. No. You, you just come inches short of its heels. Um, Josh, the one holding you is going to yeah. try to pull you in and stab you at the same time. So you have an AC disadvantage of minus two. Okay. Well, actually, I'll let you do a strength contest first to see if you can resist the pull. Is that an eight? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled the same number twice. Uh, so that's an 18. To attack. Okay. okay. Uh, you take uh, six damage as it stabs you in the stomach, still holding onto you. You're still grappled. Uh, um, actually, yeah. I'll take a reaction okay. and cast shield, which uh, gives me plus five to my AC. Okay, so it misses that. Yep. 
Um, Susanna, this one is going to attack you, the one that just flew over top of you. Oh, good. With a 12. Miss. Okay. Now we are to Steven. I will toll the dead on the flying guy. Okay. On which one? They're both. Well, they're... Oh, the one that flew over me. Okay. The one I, I already hit for three points. Okay. That's a... It's a whiz save. Whiz save. No, he fails. Nice. That's a one damage. You guys hear the, the telltale tone of a ringing bell and the winged kobold that just uh, tried to attack Suzanne just kind of goes, hmm. yeah, I'll just continue my uselessness and Brandon will help again. <laughs> All right. Uh, da, 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 da. So we are to... Wait, what? How did that happen? Did we actually just go through? Yeah, we did. Uh, Josh, we're back to you. Okay. I will uh, try to pull my hand away. Okay. Strength contest. You got shot this time? Oh, no. <laughs> Seven total. All right. Well, I'll just stab him while I'm holding him then, I guess, or while he's holding me. Okay. Uh, your melee attack has disadvantage as you were grappled. Okay. Uh, 20. That hits. <laughs> um, here. You boy. How many hit points does this guy have? Five. Okay, because I just did, um, 13 damage. Yeah, you, you <laughs> kill him and then you kill his next life. <laughs> <laughs> And, and you were holding the hands of a dead kobold swinging at your <laughs> at, at your wrist. You're looking up at you lovingly, like, but why me? We were we were betrothed. <laughs> um, and as a bonus action, I'll just uh, kill uh, my necrotic uh, cloud. It has been killed. It's been killed. So did the new one that fl- fly in? Do his yeah. Okay. Yeah. As I as I remove it, you see the white angelic wings disappear, and the cloud go away. Yep. Megan. Uh, I guess I will move like below him. Okay. And bite this last guy. That is a 20. That's a hit. And that is 10 damage. Okay. Um, looks a little rough, not too bad. Susanna. Would I have been able as a Bonus action first, been able to take the hunter's mark off of the first kobold. You can do that as your bonus action now, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that. Um, And then I'm going to whip the kobold, hopefully into shame. Natural 20. Okay, that's a hit. All right. That would be 11 damage. Okay, he's looking a little rough. Surely do that all that damage I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, the kobold. Is going to. Let's see something really fast. Mm, I forgot something. Oh well. Uh, the kobold is going to. Do, 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 do. Reach into its pouch and throw a stone at you. I need a death save, please. I was wondering where they were getting the stones. If mm-hmm. they had like cute little like pouches for them, or they just natural pick them off 20. the ground. Natural Ooh. twenty. 
um, this blue glittering stone flies past you and hits the wall behind you. And you turn and you look, and you recognize what that spell would have done. A momentary cast of banishment hits some yeah. slime and algae on the wall, mm. and it disappears. That's his turn. So now, do you see that? Toll the dead. Toll the dead. Go for it. Let's see what no, you go for it. Let's see. Uh, he does not pass. Okay. Let's see if I can do more than a one on a d12. One. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you as though you crit because of your twenty earlier, your natural twenty earlier. Okay. So one plus eleven. So twelve. Okay, that's more than enough. Um, you hear that telltale sound again, and this time the kobold, the sneering stops. The head freezes and starts to twitch a little bit, and you see this green ichor start to pour out of its ears. Its tongue sticks out of its mouth and falls to the ground, a lifeless body. You all are no longer in initiative. Woohoo! I like to loot the Wendy Kobold's body. Right, you guys want to do a bunch of looting? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, everybody give I'll me investigation <laughs> checks. <laughs> 22. Okay. Dirty 20. Okay. What kind of check? Investigation. 16. Okay. 12. Uh, collectively... Oh, sorry. Uh, 18. Okay. Uh, collectively, you guys find... <laughs> do, 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 Where's it all at? All right. So you find... Um, six ornamental gems, eight semi-precious gems, a total of 25 gold, 86 silver, two platinum, and 38 uh-huh. copper. Each or... Great. Total. Each. Total. <laughs> yes. Total. Total. I'm just picturing me as like a wolf. I've got like all these gems in my like, mouth. Like, <laughs> like, look, like my new grill. Okay. And I'm just like putting them in a pile. Like I totally wasn't ready to write all that down. Yeah. I hope somebody else did because I don't remember what I said. All right. It was like two I platinum. I mean, if we, if we don't need it right now, we can go back to the VOD. Yeah. Unless somebody from chat remembers what I just said because uh, I totally pulled that money out from nowhere. Okay. Well, I was gonna say I got two platinum, six in my. gold. Yeah, there. I wrote six ornamental gems in this <laughs> Oh well, yeah, it was uh, six ornamental. Uh, that I didn't pull from anywhere. Uh, six ornamental, um, eight semi-precious. I was talking what? Thanks, Cranium Mom Twelve. <laughs> um, so you guys spent about ten minutes looking. So between. Four people are we gonna mm-hmm. split that evenly? Yes. I can, I'll go look it up later and send an email. Yep. And I would assume what, while you guys are searching, uh, if you guys want to have any conversation, now would be the time. Well, I would at least go look around the corner, see what's in that next room. Um, you see a set of stairs going up to a long hallway. Um, while Steven is doing that, I'll go up. Sorry, is that the stairs down here or the, like the next room? Oh, that room? That's where you guys are searching. It's empty. It's oh, okay. There's bed rolls, uh, hot oh. pans, stuff like that. I will um, ask Vander, what are you here for, buddy? Uh, I'm here to obliterate this she-devil's followers. You join the right crowd. We're trying to find some dragon eggs here. I got a, I got a, a dragon buddy whispering to me. Well, as you touch it, you hear. You're getting closer. I'm I'm. As you've been going up the stairs, I was captured. I'm I'm just. I gotta get. To, I gotta get my sword back. Um. Can I? 
maybe try to like use my sense of smell to see if like we're on the right track following this. Um, yeah, give me a perception check. 20. Um, it is ripe with cobalt smell. Okay. Masking the egg smell? Pretty much. Mm. You could be a healing potion. Okay. Alright. So you guys, search is over. It's been about 10 minutes. Let's go on. Josh, you know where you are at this point. Um, I do. And... I believe... We need to take the tunnel south. The only place to go, so that makes sense. Okay. I need a marching order as these areas are rather small. I'm going first. Alright. I'll go second. I'll go third. I'll keep being the slow person in the last. <laughs> <laughs> it's the purpose of the light armor wearer. The clothy. Clothy. Alright, so you guys go up a set of stairs. You guys are wearing armor? <laughs> What's, that? What's this armor thing? <laughs> um, you guys go up a set of stairs and you get another page. You guys are flying. Just biting through all these cobalts. <laughs> Do cobalts sh- taste like chicken? Mm-mm. No, they no. taste really gross. <laughs> They're somewhere between um, probably old mutton. Yeah, yeah. All right, so um, you guys go up the stairs. Um, you continue, you continue your rise up, and then you get to this area, a uh, tunnel that's been carved out, um, which if you guys scroll down, you can see kind of where you are to give you guys some ideas. Um, under. Over. 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 Can these stairs go up? Yeah, and then there's another set of stairs that go Whee. down. Oh yeah, the last time we were in the southeast, we were supposed to be close. Yeah. And it, your your ear is getting hotter and hotter, Susanna. Mm. And I, I I I'm I'm poking Toro, be like, mm. we're getting closer. All right, Walma. Josh, okay. I'll as like you nod and the like, corner. if you want to nuzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> be like. Just, like, I'll give you, like, an excited, my eyes order. get wide, like, excited, like, yeah. Has anyone seen the IT crowd? Yes. Sometimes I get mm-hmm. a hot ear. Mm-hmm. Uh, as as you guys see Josh go around the corner, there's a room that's more well lit at the bottom of these stairs, and Josh goes around the corner, and you hear a lot of, like, what the fuck? And you hear the voice that two of you have heard before in town um, from the half-dragon champion that fell... Um, Escobar the Red, the now hero of Greenest, say, What the fuck? How did you get free? Get up! Everybody roll initiative. Nice. <laughs> I won't do anything crap. again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 25 to 20. Uh. <laughs> All right, so moving on, 15 to 20. 17. 17 as well. All right. <laughs> Almost we're down with Dario. Uh, 10 to 15. Seven. <laughs> Steven got a seven. Josh, what did you get? I got a nine. All right. Um, Josh is the only one who has surprise, so I'll let you go first. Um, actually, all of you can go first. You get a surprise round because they were not expecting anybody. Um, in Especially this, not a dire wolf. Yeah. Uh, because you guys are in initiative, I cannot read you the description of the room. 
that won't matter. So, a cave. Uh, <laughs> you guys each have a free dance. action you can take. First prize. Do they have to move as well? Yeah, you okay. get a free round. Alright. We're just going in order. Still. It's up to you. Uh, Jot, well, yeah, we'll have to go in order of the hallway just to make it make sense. Um, yeah. I would just charge towards uh, Cy and Wrath. Um, probably stop at the first guy to attack him. That one? Yeah. All right. Uh, roll your attack, Megan. Think about what you want to do, Susanna and Stephen. It's a nine to hit. Nine to hit, miss. You glance off of his armor. Um, in front of you, you see a berserker, um, wearing, you know, various parts of armor. Um, all right, uh, Megan. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's the thing about the wolf is you just got, like, one thing, you just kind of work at it. So I will just run in, and if he's going to the center guy, I will go to the left guy. All right, you do not have pack tactics there. Ah, okay. That's fine, I don't need it, because I got a natural 20, so... Roll your damage. Okay, Suzanne, and what do I, I do, um... You can do it either way. You can either roll the dice once and double it, or you can roll the dice twice. Okay. Come here! Whoa! Oh, and it's broken. Okay. Click on launch game. Underneath Harlequin's of Wild Season 1. Twenty-one. Twenty-one damage. <laughs> Not even bloody. What? So I at least like kind of like an arm is kind of dangling. Um, you you knock pretty hard okay. on his on his upper bicep, okay. but you realize he as you were biting. Arm again. Well, you probably can't. But you realize <laughs> as he was biting, or as you were biting, scroll down. Um, that uh, he's strong. Okay. In fact, that may trigger something. We'll see. Uh, Susanna. Uh, Scroll up and to the right. Down the bottom. Down, down, no. A little more. There you go. And just hit block on that pop up loose there. And you can get rid of the chat thing on the right. The little three dots up next to the funny symbol. Yep, nope, yep, yep. Just put that. There you go. Yay. Yay, technology. Okay. Um Alright, I can move five, ten, fifteen. Alright. I'm going to, I will move right here. And I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark. Okay, on which one? Guy right next to me. Slash Megan. Alright. Steven. Okay, uh, I will move as far as I can move. How does that keep happening? You guys keep hitting the back button on the mouse. Hit launch game. Oh, I was wondering if there was a forward button on the browser, but no. Technology is grand. Mm hmm. And then down to the right. Seriously eating all of these. Mm -hmm. Diet starts tomorrow. Diet never happens. <laughs> it's, it's the perpetual tomorrow. Tomorrow and the, you know. Tomorrow's always tomorrow. Okay. So can I go like. I will move you closer to five, start. You can start. 10, 15, 20, 25. I can get there. Mm hmm. So is this guy at the south? He's the, like the big bad Cyanath guy? Yep. Uh, would you call that 30 feet? Uh, well, we can find out real fast. I would call that 30 feet. Okay. I'm gonna pull out. Whoa now. <laughs> My Tome of the Stilled Tongue. Ooh. 
And as a bonus action, I'm going to shout out to Cyan Wrath. And I'm going to say... Why did the worker get fired from the orange juice factory? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lack of concentration. <laughs> mm. And I cast Tasha's Hideous <laughs> Laughter, and I'm going to spend a dissonant whisper to give you disadvantage. Okay. If somebody wants to check the chat count, by the way, for dissonant whispers. Oh, we forgot to add one for the follow. So here, put this one back. Okay. <laughs> you want to see... Oh, yeah, roll. Let's see. Yeah. I got it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that happened. Well, that's a 16, right? Yeah, 16 and 19. However, okay. for wisdom? Yeah. That's you. You succeed. Okay. 16 beats it. I need to actually pull this out. Let me see. Yeah, it does. I, I want to make sure you didn't have a minus, because I think your yours is a 14, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he passes. So he kind of goes, what the fuck? Uh, so then, as my a- since that was a bonus action, yep. as my action, I'm going to say, what did the dog say to the two trees? Mm-hmm. Bark, bark. Oh, God. <laughs> and cast it again. Okay. And I'll use, I'll use this again. Okay. <laughs> uh, it is a 14 and a 15. Uh, 14 is what I needed. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that's... He's, he's like, really? Like, come on. <laughs> that's awesome, though. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. So that ends. Surprise. Kind of like this guy. What is his movement? Holy crap. Okay. He's going to come up here by Josh and uh, Josh he comes up and as he comes up he draws this blackened steel uh, long sword and you feel your heart begin to pulse a little bit Um, and he says I'm surprised you've survived this long I guess a body will be just as good for our plants with you and he is going to take um, he's going to take a couple swings at you uh, first one is uh, uh, 28. Mm-hmm. The second <laughs> one is a uh, 26. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So you take... Uh, I'm thinking if I can just use up all the What's the damage for that other weapon, Josh? Because I switched his weapon and I don't have a um, just the Just the dice roll damage. Yeah, it's a basic longsword. Okay. Okay. Good to know. So you take... Unless unless he's using two hands. He's not. He's not. Uh, He's going to do... uh, 16, 17, 18, 19. 22 damage. Oof. Oh, God. And as Kyanrath comes onto the battlefield, the two, the three of you, you haven't seen so you don't have this effect. Mm-hmm. You two, so Stephen and Susanna, as well as as well as Josh, feel invigorated. Two for revenge, and one out of just wanting to whoop somebody's ass. And the three of you have the effect of a short rest instantly. Yes. Oh. Actually, no, you have the effect of a long rest instantly after the hit, Josh. <laughs> Wait, yes. So I can just get a long rest? Yeah. That changes things. Yes, it does. Yes, spell slots. Hmm. Yeah, it's a game changer. Not really. It's a world ending event. Things happen. <laughs> so, um. So I guess it's as if we've had five inter- hour energy drink. Something like that. Okay. But it does not count as a new day, though. No. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what he does. Oh, shit. He has improved critical. I'll remember that for next time.
Yeah, you're critting on 19 and 20. Yeah. Oh, my damages were way too high. I was looking at the wrong line, but they still both would have hit. <laughs> it would have been a 22 and a 24. Hmm. All right. Anyway, moving on. Megan, Susanna, you guys are both up. All right. Does it matter who wants to go first? I'll bite, bite. Do my usual. I get advantage, right? I'm biting the guy in front of me. Uh, you do right now, yes. Yes. That is a um, 22 to hit. Twenty two to hit. Uh you hit. And that is fourteen damage. Okay, it's still not even bloody. Alright, Susanna. Alright, as my action, I'm going to charge lock it up the sun. Okay. Okay, let me roll my six. Um, I got a six, so I'm empowered for the next four rounds. All right. Uh, plus three damage on any hit and crit on 18 and higher. All right. And as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Vow of Enmity on the baddie in front of me. All right. One round down. Three left. Okay. Uh, so the berserker that's in front of you, Susanna and Megan, mm-hmm. that Megan has hit and Susanna has just done some cool shit to, um, you hear him let out a guttural roar. His eyes become bloodshot. The veins in his body begin to pulsate and extend above the skin a little bit. The sweat begins to furl on his brow. And he is enraged. And he is going to take a swing at Megan and a swing at Susanna. Uh, As he's swinging, looking at the biceps, I say, you might want to see a doctor for that. He cannot even hear you. (laughs) Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. I forgot. You're not a type. Yeah. (laughs) Impossible. (laughs) <laughs> he just doesn't realize it yet. Oh. Oh, where did it go? What happened? There we go. Okay. Um, so with his great axe, uh, he's going to swing against... Uh, let's go with Megan first. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. Mm-hmm. So you take 9 damage. Okay. Against Susanna, that is actually supposed to be an advantage. But anyway, I'll give it to you this time. Uh, the second one is a 17 to hit you, Susanna. Hit. 9 damage. You're starting to see that not all the blood on this wolf is cobalt blood. <laughs> Uh, Josh, this berserker is going to move up and it's going to attack you. Okay. Uh, and it's going to go reckless. So you have advantage on attacks against him. Okay. Uh, first roll is a natural 20. Second roll is an 8. So that's a natural 20. Uh, that would be 16 damage. This one is going to come back here and try to attack Steven. Just standard attack. Uh, 15 against you, Steven. That is a hit. All right. Uh, nine damage. And with that, we move on to Josh. Okay, then. Um... I will bonus action cast 
shield of faith, which okay. gives me plus two uh, AC for ten minutes. Um, and then I will go ahead and pop my necrotic cloud again. All right. That's ten feet, right? Ten feet. So everyone in the box has to do a charisma save. Okay, that's me. And it's against magic? Yes. Uh, I got a 13 and a 15, Josh. Uh, it's 13 passes. Okay. okay. 15 for me. Raymond and Colbert don't pass. Okay. All right. Steven. Okay, this gets more complicated than being attacked. I don't like being attacked. He's in deep thought. I'm gonna crouch down. Okay. And I'm going to summon an inanimate object, a three foot by three foot mithril box around me. Okay. With a little hole that I can see out of facing to the south. You son of a bitch. All right. <laughs> wait, wait, what? All right. Uh... I will put this on you. Um, okay. And Raymond is going to risk the opportunity attack to go up to Vander and help. <laughs> All right. Uh, opportunity attack. Uh, he misses. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, for this mithril box, right? Yeah. Uh, I have to now destroy the box to get to you, right? Uh, probably, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's give it a AC of uh, 15, and uh, we'll give it 20 hit points. Okay. I'll let you keep track of it. That, that matches my AC and my number of hit points. <laughs> so you just, you just combat wild shape to yourself. <laughs> yep. yeah. Okay. God damn it. Uh, all right. Kynrath is going to go. I, when I did that, my, my vest and tie disappeared. Right. <laughs> Uh, you didn't want it to be glowing out of the hole? Yeah. Okay. The, the box itself is slightly glowing. So you're in a magic box? Yeah, you guys, if, if you could see him, Josh, you might see him out of the corner of your eye. You just see Quo Brutalum crouch down and this box appear. This shiny metal box that glows a little bit. I'm in my panic room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Great. Kynrath is going to... Okay, I need Susanna, Megan, and Josh. Is that what he's going to do? Yeah, Susanna, Megan, and Josh. I need all of you to make dexterity saving throws. As Kynrath draws his head back and exhales, and a cloud of smoke and lightning comes out. 21. You pass. 20. Okay, you pass. 10. You do not. So, you're going to take full damage. Susanna and Josh, you guys are going to take half damage. Um, <laughs> you're going to take 22 damage. <laughs> Bye, Wolf. Bye, Wolf. Uh, Susanna and Josh, you guys both take 11 damage uh, from Lightning. And let me roll the recharge. So. Oh, yeah. Um, how does that work? So I had five left as a wolf. Mm -hmm. So does it wolf and then when yeah, I get they, down to zero, I revert over. and then I, the rest of the points the go points take it. Over. Okay. And you said 22? Mm -hmm. Okay. Da -da -da. It's probably more for they don't carry over, right? Yes. Okay, so. And that is his turn. No more wolf. Megan Susanna. 
Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how dead I am uh, here. Let's see. Right, depending, let me know whether you are unconscious or not. <laughs> well, I'm not a wolf anymore. Okay. So This will determine okay. what I'll probably do. I have healing stuff too, so don't. Okay. Don't worry about me. You can probably go before me because I'm probably. You're probably like. A little delayed by me. What? <laughs> I was planning on changing out anyway, so you just. I helped you. <laughs> just, I helped you. You just quickened that, so. Yeah. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> um, question on the hunter's mark. Yeah. Um, if I were to do bonus action, two handed weapon, would I get the 1d6 on both? The action and the bonus action. What do you mean? A uh, hunter's mark. Uh, if it's a hit, mm -hmm. then I roll an extra one d six damage. I think it's only once per turn. It's once per turn. Okay. Yeah. okay. yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only once per turn. All right. Thank you kindly. Alrighty. Um, Megan, you want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I'm disoriented by being killed oh. out of my wolf form. Alright, I'm going to whip the Nene. The guy. The front. Um, that's an 18, and with Locket of the Sun, that's a crit. Okay. Alright, so that's whip first. So that's 10 for whip. Okay. Um, all right, so that was a 17. For the 17 second. hits. Okay. And that's 12 damage. 12 damage? Mm -hmm. Noted. He's pretty bloody. Little winded. All right. Megan. I'm going to touch myself and do cure wounds. And then help myself out a little bit here. Oh, that was not that good of a roll. Anything else? Um, do I have to bonus action change into a bear? <laughs> I believe so. Because <laughs> I can do it twice. Yeah. Yeah, we're just we're gonna go back to bear. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Bonus action bear. All right, so mm. you're now bear. Okay. Uh, now the Berserkers get to go. Um, let's see. So, let's deal with the box. This one's going to take a swing at the box. What's in the box? Uh, it's a 22. That'll hit. Alright, so it is going to do uh, 9 damage. Okay, so unless you want to change the rules, the box disappears when it takes damage. No, it's got it's got hit points. I'm gonna make okay. it where it actually has to destroy. It. Okay, but ac according to the rules, well, the, the thing I conjure disappears if it takes damage. Nah, we'll play it this way for this time. Okay, I'm giving you a fighting chance. This okay. is more fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's presenting me with a challenge. Okay, so it's down to I'll use my hit points for the moment yes. to track the box. Okay. Seeing that there's now a bear behind it, uh, the berserker that is on Josh is going to turn and try to swing at Megan uh, with a 16. Yes. All Sorry. right. <laughs> that was a new animal. Mm. I was trying to remember. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you take nine damage. Okay, okay. And this one that you have heavily marked, Susanna, uh -huh. is going to swing at you with a 21. 
Yeah. <laughs> you also take nine damage. Okay. Josh, you're up. Uh, let's see. I'm going to uh, heal myself with ten points for okay. my pool. Because I was down to five hit points. Um, and bonus action Hexblade's Curse on Simon. All right, walk us through Hexblade's Curse. Hexblade's Curse. Um, as a bonus action, choose one creature you can see within 30 feet of you. The target is cursed for one minute. The curse ends early if you die or are in incapacitated. Until then, you earn the following benefits. I have bonus damage against the cursed target. That equals my be uh, proficiency bonus. Any attack roll I make against the target is a critical on 19. And if the cursed target dies, I gain four hit points back. Okay. Good to know. Steven, from your box. I have a plan, and then something changes right before it's my <laughs> turn, and I have to reevaluate. I'm sorry. It's called D&D. &D. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to... Oh, by the way, you guys earned another Dissonant Whisper. Surprise, nice. nobody said anything in chat. We're Woo over 200 chats. Woo! Woo! Thank you, chat. I'm going to go ahead and cast Enlarge on Vander. Okay. Oh, boy. So... The target size doubles in all dimensions, and its weight is multiplied by eight. <laughs> uh, you increase one size category, so if you're a medium, you're now large. And you have advantage on all strength checks and strength saving throws. And all of your weapon attacks deal an extra 1d4 damage. Oh, thank you. Mm. Well, you're, you're only going to large, so I'll find a way to mark that. Uh, we'll do... That. And I'm actually going to change... Yeah, I'll leave the red out now. Cool. And Raymond will keep helping. to go. Um, he's going to make Josh, Megan, and Susanna do deck saves again. As he rears back and does another lightning breath. So everybody do deck save. So you only take 11 damage each. Great. And that is his turn. Megan, Susanna. Alright. Um, Steven, the plus three, is that for everyone or just you? That you just gave? It's only to Josh. Damn. Okay. Um, you just saw him, like, get very tall. Okay. <laughs> um, I will... I will nay nay the, ba the baddie next to me. Uh, that's going to be a 22, so that's a crit. Okay. Well, it's a crit if the die is a 19 or a 20. It was a 19. Okay. Sorry, I'm used to my plus fives and plus sevens over here. Yeah. So crit is double, right? Uh, yeah, you either roll a dice once and double it, or you can roll two dice, and that's the total. Okay. I'll... I play either way. It's up to the, the roller, in my opinion. All right. All right, so... 
Nineteen. Nineteen damage. Good to know. He slumps to the ground. And as a bonus action, I take a much, much needed healing potion. Okay. Megan. Oh, crap. No, nope. you do the healing potion. No, Megan. Wait, 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 wait. You haven't said anything yet. Um, actually, instead, I'm going... Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can move it on your next turn. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm going to move over one to the next guy then. Okay. Um, and going to give him a bite first. And that is a 19. 19 hits. Hit. And well, not this one. You gotta roll 29 or better. Mm-hmm. And that is 11. 11, noted. And then I'm gonna hit him with my claws. Okay. And that is a 18 to hit. That hits. And. And then it's ten. Ten, got it. Uh, he's not quite bloody yet. Uh, but now they get to go. Uh, let's deal with the box. Take a swing at the box. Using all my good rolls, it's a twenty-four. I guess that hits the box. Yeah, that hits the box. <laughs> um, so that is. Oh, I get a roll of d12. Okay, 12 damage. The box is gone. Damage does not transfer. Okay. So you're no longer in a box. Okay. Um, this berserker is going to swing at you, Megan. Okay. Um, seeing a bear? Yes. It's it's excited. It's like, oh. okay, awesome. So it's going to go reckless. Uh, the roll is an 18 and a 1. So with the advantage, it is an 18, which makes it a 23. Okay. So you take 9 damage. Okay. All right, Josh. Woo. <laughs> we're, running, we're running through the uh, animals here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's go with a... I'm going to go ahead and attack um, Sign Rat. Okay. I'm assuming uh, Raymond is helping me, correct? Yes. Um, that is a 21 to hit. Uh, sure. And you got plus um, a d4 on your damage. Yep, I got plus 4 on the damage, plus additional 2 for having them cursed. Plus, I'm going to expend a, slow, a spell slot to use um, here, Searing searing Smite. Yeah. Uh, which is 2d8, I believe. Yeah. I'm trying to find it here. I think that's right. Uh, Divine, Divine Smite, that's what it is. Um, 2d8 additional. Um, so let me... Twenty-five damage. Okay. Um, and as a bonus action, uh, what do I got here? Uh, that's it. I got nothing else. All right. He's he's looking a little rough. Not quite bloody. Steven. I conjure a new box. Okay. As a bonus action, <laughs> I take a healing potion. Okay. Defense position. 
All right. Kynrath is now going to swing at you twice, Josh. Mm-hmm. How, how hurt are you? I'm at four hit points. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, well, the first one's an 11. Okay. And the second one is a 12. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Yay! Yay! Just so you know, I'm at 21 AC right now, and I have a reaction to add five. Oh, well, that's good to know. So as long as you don't hit a 28, I should be, or 27, I should be all right. I could hit 27. Oh, you did already? <laughs> yeah. I could easily hit 27. Well, not easily, but I could hit 27. Um, so, um, yeah, let me roll the recharge in a little <laughs> Fives and sixes all day. Um, all right, so we are now to Megan and Susanna. Oh, and I didn't say Raymond's still Raymond's still Uh, bears first? Sure. Um, all right. I will... Let's claw first. Okay. Change it up. <laughs> uh... Oh, that was only a 12. You have advantage because he went reckless. Oh, lovely. Let's see if that's better. That's better. That is a 18. 18 does hit today. And... That is 8 damage for that. And then I'll bite. Do I still get advantage? Yeah. And that is 23. Okay. And... And that is 12. All right. Susanna. All right. Thank you, DM, for letting me do this. Uh, Hunter's mark on the reckless guy in front of Megan. Okay. I'm going to... Go right next to Megan. As you step into the box, please give me a charisma save, please. Please. Yeah, charisma. 18. This pass, go ahead. Right. And I'm going to. I'm going to nene the. Hunter's marked guy. Okay. You have advantage. Double it, but you have advantage. Well, not double it, but you have advantage. Dirty 20. That's a hit. Uh, that is 10 damage. All right. He's looking rough. Now it's the Berserker's turn. How much would you say that Mithril Box weighs? And you. Uh, I can tell you I weigh... Mithril's pretty light, isn't it? That's, that's why mm -hmm. it's Mithril, because mm -hmm. I can only conjure something up to so big. Yeah. I weigh 42 pounds. Okay, <laughs> so we could probably say 60, maybe and, 80 at most. Uh, my box... Weighs ten pounds. Okay, so um, the berserker seeing go back in the box is gonna get pissed. Mm -hmm. He's gonna pick up the box and try to throw it. Okay. <laughs> so let's do a check to pick up the box. Nineteen. Um, and his strength is well. There's no bottom to the box, so he's gonna oh. pick it up. Yeah, me. he's gonna pick up the yeah. box, and there's no bottom to it, and he's gonna throw it aside. Okay. <laughs> um, and that's his action. Hmm. Yep, that's all I can do. So the box is now clattering to the ground somewhere. Okay. Move mouse. Move mouse. Move mouse. All right. Um, now this one is going to attack uh, the bear. Reckless again. Yay. First uh, roll is a two. Oh, good. The second roll is an 11, which turns it into 16. That hits. All right, you take uh, kill the nine bear? damage. 
Fear's dead. So you're mm-hmm. back. <laughs> <laughs> back again. All right. All right. Uh, now we're to Josh. Um, aiming for Cyan Wrath again. Go for it. Uh, it is a 17 to hit. 17 barely hits. Oof. All right. Um, and I will burn another spell to get the two additional D8. Okay. And you still have the D4. Yep. Yeah. And Raymond was helping. I don't know if you got that. Yeah, you also have advantage. Yeah. 25 damage. Okay. It looks really rough. Like, you hit him so hard, he almost goes down to a knee. And he looks up with intense resolve. Mm-hmm. See him. I conjure a new box. <laughs> 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 hey, keeps helping. Okay. It's now Kyanrath's turn. He's gonna stand up, he's gonna look you, he's gonna look you, he's gonna look up at you, I guess, and say, You fall today, your sacrifice will be much needed for Tiamat. And let's do the first two attacks. Uh so that is a nineteen. Yes. And then I rolled a 19, which means it's a critical. He's also going to action surge, because he wouldn't know any better. And roll a... uh, That would be an 18. And a natural 20. (laughs) So, uh, you take 22 damage. And I am unconscious. He's then going to look at Megan, Stephen, and Susanna. He's going to take a couple steps over. Actually, how many times did you hit me? I hit you twice. All right, because I would have been down after the first hit. So the second hit is a uh, automatic uh, uh, state fail. He's going to step back, and he's going to say, one down, three and a cat to go. And he's going to make all of you do... Dexterity saves. As he casts lightning breath again. Would that fail because I'm in a box? Yes. Mm-hmm. Would the lightning breath penetrate the hole in my box? No. <laughs> it would destroy. It would destroy the box. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> That's uh fifteen. Pass. Seventeen. Both pass. You two take eleven. Good boy. And that's the end of his turn. Megan, Susanna. Okay. Um, well. Alright, um. I'm gonna mess up a good thing. Uh, I'm gonna use Nene. <laughs> um, and that is a 18. 18 to hit. Alright. Sixteen. Sixteen damage. He falls to the ground. Oh, good. Excellent. Um, and moving on. Actually, no, I, I'm i going to take my last healing potion. My second last healing potion. Okay. You're not going to... Oh, gonna wait, oh wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I just realized that. Sorry, Vander. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um... <laughs> I do like a cross symbol, be like, sorry, Vander. Um, To myself, then, I will go to Vander (laughs) and lay on hands and give you uh, ten hit points. Can you hear the croaking? Oh, fuck. No, fuck. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So you're back to ten hit points on the ground prone. Josh. Okay, yay. 
And he's still large. And he's, yeah, he's still large. <laughs> but your special thing left because you fell, right? Correct. You're no longer cursed. Uh, Megan? Uh, I'm going to touch myself again. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Let's get it on. Oh, that was that was a nice touch. <laughs> <laughs> Did that touch do what you needed it to? <laughs> yeah. it a very nice touch. Um, and I think that's probably that for now. Okay. Uh, the Berserker is going to take a swing at you, Steven. Okay. With a 15. A 15 is a hit. You take 9 damage. Uh, Josh! Okay, I will stand up and run back after Sinrath. Alright. And attack him. Go for it. Uh, that is a... So 11 damage. All right. As you swing down, your sword comes down behind Kainra's neck, and you just feel the head start to give way. Your sword makes it about part way through. You know that with your sword, you probably would have cleaved it clean off. Um, and there's a spark, a spark, a spurtle of a uh, lightning from his throat cavity, um, and his bo- his lifeless body falls to the ground. <gasps> Bonus action, pick my sword up. It's yours. He stole your sword? He stole my sword. It's since a very he, nice sword. Since he never attuned to it, you are still attuned to Nightburner. Oh, I am? Yeah. Sweet. Alright, Kyanrath has fallen. Woohoo! Woo. Which means we go to Steven. I mean, I was conjuring a new box. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Raymond can move somewhere where he can help if they, if he can. I don't know if he can anticipate who's moving where, but I have no idea. We'll we'll move him here, and we'll he see. he will try to help. All right, Megan, Susanna. All right. Um. Move and Hunter's Mark over to the last baddie. Um, Alright, what? Uh, can I have the mouse yeah. buddies? You can just tell me I can move it so you don't okay. hit a button. <laughs> Boop. Um, I'm going to move next to the baddie that's, and so I'm um, next to Raymond so I that's get fine. advantage. Put Raymond here so you get advantage. Okay. Thank you, Raymond. <laughs> I imagine Raymond just like tapping with his paw at the, at the enemy to distract them. All That's right. how he helps. I don't want to move this now. Um, thanks to Raymond, a 17. 17? Hits. Yes. All right. That would be 12 damage. Okay, good to know. Okay. Um, can we scroll so I can see? Oh, I don't want to mess it up. That's not what I wanted. Yay. That's good enough. Um, I will move... Uh, can I be like 10 feet away from the bad guy? Yep. And... Let's have some fun with some poison spray. Okay. So I'll put on my hand and spray some poison in his face. Alright, so is that an attack or a dex save? 
Um, a constitution saving throw. All right. That's against the poison. Yes, my noxious gas. He fails. Yay! And, and that is five damage. Noted. All right. Berserker is now going to forego the box and swing at Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> with a 22. Slightly. Nine damage. <laughs> no more bear. Bear died. Great. One hit point. <laughs> you? Yep. All right. Uh, Josh. Um, I will flank the remaining barbarian or berserker and um, take swing at him. Go for it. You have advantage. Uh, son of a gun. <laughs> All my dice are falling off the table. Oh no. <laughs> and I can't pick them up. <laughs> uh, that's a. Nine. Nine misses. All right. Steven. Uh, I will stand up and push the box aside and toll the dead. <laughs> All right. What does it say? Natural one. So he gains all of his hit points back and grows in size. It's now enlarged. And it's permanent rage with no after effect, right? That's how that works? No, I'll just put the box back on. And <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, Megan, Susanna, and Raymond will help. Uh, Raymond will help always. All right. Um. All right, Nene. Um. Thank you, Raymond. Thanks to Raymond, eighteen. Uh, that is eleven damage. All right. Ready. And I'm going, as bonus action, take a healing potion. Okay. I realized something I wasn't paying attention. I took damage a turn ago and enlarged quit because I lost concentration. All right, you're no longer enlarged, Josh. Okay. All right. The Berserker is going to swing at... Oh, yeah, sorry, Megan, yes, sorry. I'm going to slice them first. Um, can I, I'll move up close next to him, and uh, I will use uh, my centaur. Okay. And that is a 23 to hit. That hits. And that's eight damage. Noted. And then I will bonus. She's looking rough. Bonus action. Other scimitar again. And that is sixteen to hit. That hits. And three. Noted. All right. The Berserker is going to roll a dice and see what he does. He's going to attack Megan. Mm. And he's going to miss Megan. Megan, okay. roll 1d6, please. Okay. Two. He does two points of damage to himself as he pokes himself with his sword. Yay. Now to Josh. Uh, I'll shake him in the back. Go for it. <laughs> uh, that is a 26 to hit. I'll let it hit this time. <laughs> and... It is nine damage. 
Noted. All right, Steven. Uh, same thing. I'll stand up and toll the dead. All right. He fails. One damage. So much damage. <laughs> That's the third time I rolled a one and a twelve tonight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll sit back down and Raymond will help. Hey, Megan and Susanna. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to say it. Um, all right, Nene. Um, is Raymond still helping? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Raymond saves the day again. Save the 17. <laughs> 12 damage. Okay. It's looking rough. Really, 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 really rough. He's almost down to one knee. All right. Let's slice him. Slice him, dice him. That is a 16. It is. And a 4. He dies. Oh, yay. You are no longer in an issue. Yay. <laughs> um. I would like to check Cyan Wrath for any other items. Sure. A, uh, moment, a moment check. later, I stand up and cast Toll the Dead again because I didn't see what happened. Do you hear the, <laughs> the ever-present ever sound of a gong? I'm going to cast a uh, Healing Spirit again. Okay. And uh, so anyone who wants to walk nearby my pretty spirit elk can get... It's only three, but you get three help hit points, everybody. Woo! Uh, okay. Now we do the narrative for this room. Uh, Josh, what'd you roll in your investigation? Yeah, I got a twelve. Uh, you find two superior healing potions, um, twenty-four gold, um, and some miscellaneous items of nothing of note. All right, I ha- I keep one potion. I hand one potion to um, the druid, and I hand the gold to the paladin-looking lady. All right. Uh, narrative for this room. This chamber has been enlarged and reshaped from original form. The floor uh, and three of the walls are smooth, and select heights and select lights have been polished into gleaming columns. Every surface glistens with moisture and the air is warm and humid. The flat walls of the chamber are decorated with shallow, abstract carvings of dragons. Dragons' tails coil into intricate patterns and knots that flow across the walls. The creatures portrayed in the northwest corner stands out, a five-headed dragon rising from an erupting volcano. Other dragons, which seem dwarfed by the five-headed monstrosity, flock to its side. A small wooden chest with silver and mother-of-pearl inlays sits on the floor in the corner in front of the monstrous dragon carving. carving. Josh, you know this as the altar room to Tima, uh, Tima. Um, Yes. And I'm checking to see if I have the equipment with me to do it. You're checking I your don't. equipment. I'm looking, I, w- I was hoping for some oil so I could light the thing on fire. <laughs> but I don't have it. So I'm just going to go over and start hacking at it with my sword. All right, uh, give me an attack. Uh, 18. 18. You hit. Um, in fact, I'll say that you snap three of the heads off of Tiamat. And in doing so, you hear a snap from beneath the floor below you. A hissing sound like dozens of angry snakes or liquid moving through the open tubes. A moment later, liquid sprays out from a dozen of tiny holes in the walls and ceiling. Wherever it splashes onto the floor... The moisture on the stone bubbles and smokes. Within moments, the chamber is beginning to fill with acid mist. Everyone make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Ah. And try to get the hell out of the room. Which way, though? Um, you know that the hallway down to the south ends, and there's stairs to your right. Okay, that just ends. Okay. Yeah. You said okay. a dexterity save? Yep. Dex.
Yes, go ahead. I got a 21. Uh, you pass. We got an 18. Pass. 17. Pass. 21. Pass. Josh? Natural one. All right, so... <laughs> could, I, <laughs> could I have hit guidance on him? Sure. I'll let you do it. Well, that doesn't really add much, does it? <laughs> Never mind. All right, so... He only gets a D4. <laughs> Josh, I'm, you, you I'm take, distracted trying to destroy this. You take six acid damage. Everybody else does not take any. Um, you have one round to clear this room. I mean, yeah. So the south ends. So I guess we're we're running. Yep. Yeah. Down the up the stairs. Up, you said downstairs. Up? Downstairs. Down. Well, there's like acid pooling in this room. Yeah, it's spraying. It's starting like to pool. Gas. Is it just gonna follow follow us down the stairs? No. It's a mist. Oh. Um, okay. I don't. I don't think we're thinking that rationally. I think we're just running. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll go down. So, all of us go. Yep. 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 I got you. Uh, Susanna, as you go down the stairs, I need a Constitution save as the burning behind your ear is almost unbearable. Ooh. I, I notice her like flinching and I get excited. 16. <laughs> uh, you are able to only take four damage. Great. The mm. chamber that opens at the bottom of the stairs is immense. Wide, a wide ledge runs along the left wall and drops away into a pit to the right. Many stalactites descend from the ceiling. The sound of dripping water echoes continuously. You can see, off in the distance, a few dragon eggs. <gasps> Susanna, yes. one of them. You see one of them glow. You guys don't. All right. Which one is glowing? This one over here. Okay. Um, I touched... There are bars that go down the stairs, much like the... Uh, prison-like bars that you saw before, and a gate down at the bottom. Okay. Do I do I see the eggs? Yes. Uh, do I get a sense of how much they might weigh? Uh, I can tell you. Four thousand. I think they weigh like a hundred pounds. I think. I'm just going to excitedly run down there. <laughs> um, meanwhile, I just touch my dragon's mark and, and say, uh, we're here. One, one of the eggs is glowing. I'm, I'm assuming this is yours. Please. Get my child. It's hers and her sister's, right? So we're assuming that's the two of them? Yeah. Um, it, it, I'm just going to call it 100 pounds. 100 okay. pounds per egg. That's mm -hmm. significant. Yeah. And it's like two of me. Or more than two of me. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to roll it out, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 I'm go for an egg roll. <laughs> Easter egg hunt. And I'm going to touch the dragon mark and be like, I I'm assuming the non there are two eggs. The, the non-glowing one, I hope, is your sister's. Oh, uh, they weigh less than that. Much less than that. Sorry. Uh, like oh, I have incubation times and everything. I have a page that you need to see. Ooh. Oh, jeez. I'll get excited. Um, <laughs> they weigh... It doesn't give an exact weight, but I'm going to call it... No, it does. Uh, they weigh 60 pounds. Okay. Okay. I run down. Okay, there's a gate down at the bottom. The door seems to be locked. Oh. <laughs> it's locked. Um, I mean, can I just, like, slice my sword at it, maybe? My scimitar? You can certainly try. That is a 20. All right, you slice the lock. The door swings open. As the door swings open... Oh no. The alarms go off. 
And a pack of kobolds come about. Ah, where were those drakes hiding? In the darkness. In the darkness. Darkness. No parents. Absence of light. Oh boy. All right. Uh, you guys see this happening. Uh, make it roll initiative. <laughs> Alright, which roll? Uh, six. That's with advantage, because the other one was a one. <laughs> I mean, seems seems about right. I'm All very right. just distracted, excited One Drake eggs. made it to you. It's going to try to attack. Okay. Uh, with a 13. Uh, it does not hit. Okay. You guys can do anything you would like at this point before Megan goes, because her <laughs> initiative is so low. <laughs> I mean, I think we were already looking here, so I think I'm actually, like, down here looking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just where we were when that happened. Yep. Raymond's probably behind me. Give me a perception check while you're there. Sure. Seven. Yeah. You see what you see. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, eight more drinks in here, but we don't see them yet. <laughs> then, if, if I have an actual action? Uh, you can have a movement action. No, I'm not going to move. They enter initiative, if you'd like. You can enter initiative. Okay, I'll roll on initiative. Okay. Susanna, Josh? <laughs> um, 20, uh, or sorry, 18. Oh, oops. Uh, initiative was 13. Minus seven. Still higher than me. <laughs> okay. Um, Megan, you get to go, and then we'll go to the top of the order. Susanna, you can move if you'd like before your turn. Oh boy. We need a short rest, y'all. It would be nice if someone didn't activate the acid room. Me. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see a Tiamat and not stab at it. <laughs> Alright, so so I get I get a I get to hit, okay. Um okay, I guess I'll just hit the guy that's coming up in front of me. Oh. Um with my centaur uh uh sixteen. Sixteen. That hits. Okay, good. And that is for three damage. Woohoo! And then I'll bonus action. Other one. And that is an 11 to hit. 11 to hit. That's a miss. Uh-huh. All right. So before we go on, it's 1045. So we're going to have some narrative. As Megan swings down the second time, Megan, you can feel yourself being pulled by some kind of magical force. You look down at your hands and they're starting to fade. Is there anything you'd like to say? What? Oh no, I wanted to draw the eggs. I know. (laughs) That's probably what I say. Okay. And with that, you see Megan just disappear in place. You guys are still in initiative. And from the pit over to the left, the right, you can hear Akira saying, Hold on, I'm coming, guys. Sorry about that. (laughs) And with that, we will end this evening. Yay. So. There we go. Now you guys can hear me because <laughs> I'm trying something different. And that's just how things work. So, again, for the benefit of the players and the room, uh, thank you, friends, for hanging out with us. Um, our adventures are about three quarters away through uh, this uh, part of the adventure for Chapter 3, The Dragon Hatchery of uh, Horde of the Dragon Queen. We look forward to seeing you again next week. 
where we will pick up where our adventurers have left off. As Megan has been pulled to some plane, um, and they hear the voice of Akira as he's trying to climb up over the hill to come for their aid and their newfound Vander um, and see what they will do as they are attacking the Drakes and coming up on the Dragon Eggs. So I look forward to seeing you next week. If you'd like to see more Dungeons and Dragons, check out Gidge Witch's channel. Uh, Megan, Josh, and I play as Steven, hosts and DMs, and we are working through Waterdeep Dragon Heist at an amazing, blistering slow pace. Uh, <laughs> this upcoming week, we will be uh, playing dress up because we have a cool event going on. Um, I am still, I still got a stack of stuff for giveaways. So tell all your friends, tell all your family. Every follow helps not only by giving them dissonant whispers, but by getting us closer to every single goal. Uh, again, I thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, it's been my pleasure to be your host and your DM. And I will talk to you all next week and on Monday when I do Behind the Screen. Have a good night, everyone. Hang on, because we're going to launch a raid. Bye. Bye.